Starting something new today, gonna pay it forward, forge style. All right, my YouTube friends and neighbors, today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna help out a fellow smith. One of the things that I see a lot of our uh, uh, guys wanting to get into smithing, just having a real hard time with the initial tooling, getting tongs and hammers and chisels and punches and all the stuff they need um, or feel they need to get going. So the person I'm so the person I'm trying to help today, his name is Bill, or Billy, and he lives down south somewhere. And he got a hold of me saying he was having some hard times or uh, some troubles making some tongs. And uh, we discussed it a little bit, and it sounds like he was uh, using the wrong stuff. Much like me, he tried to make some tongs out of rebar for his early ones, and much like me, he did not have any success. I thought I was on top of things when I started, and I, I said, well, I've got my... Uh, track bar out of my Jeep that I pulled out my uh, Cherokee uh, and so I made some tongs out of that and the first time I used them they snapped right off because you don't learn about not hardening your tongs until you've been smithing for a little while but I have no doubt that uh, Bill is gonna get going he's gonna get into smithing he's gonna love it and he's gonna pursue it because he's been he's been commenting on my videos for a long time I see him commenting on other people's videos too um, so I know he's got uh, you know an inner passion for it and I think he's gonna have an outer passion once he gets going and can actually do some smithing so he mentioned to me that he wanted to make knives and I made those knife tongs a little while ago that I absolutely love and I thought you know what I'm gonna make some for Bill but the more I got to thinking about it the more I wanted to do something beyond just helping a guy get a pair of tongs so as I was thinking about this last night I decided I wanted to try something a little different one thing I've noticed about the YouTube blacksmithing community is everyone is incredibly generous with their time and their talents. And I thought, I want to find a way to try and, and get that generosity of spirit into the next generation of hobby blacksmiths coming up. So I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, the paying it forward thing that happens at the fast food uh, drive through lines, but it's really a neat experience. As you're sitting there in line, uh, the person in front of you pays for you. Then you pay for the people behind you, they pay for the people behind them, you pay it forward. And uh, we hear about stories like that at the radio station. The, the record number I've heard was somewhere in the 40 range, like 43 people in a row paid for the people behind them because theirs got paid for in front of them. I thought that was incredible. And I thought, how cool would it be if if a bunch of YouTube blacksmiths could just join together, make some tools, some beginning stuff to help these smiths that A, don't have the tools, don't have the knowledge to make their tools, and don't have the money to buy them. But for some of them, you can just tell they've got a passion for this even though they haven't tried it yet. So I thought it would be cool if, uh, if I could help out get a pair of tongs into some of their hands, and then they can make some tongs and pass it on to the next crop of smiths that are trying to get into the hobby. So instead of paying it forward, we're forging it forward, if you will. You know, maybe in the future we'll grow it, we'll put together a big pack of tools. Uh, you know, we, uh, each smith can make a tool that uh, they think the, someone's going to need when they're beginning, and we send that to somebody. But for now, I think the generosity that I see in this YouTube community um, already is really cool. And so all I'm doing is putting a name to it, saying forge it forward, and uh, we can all do it with the people we know, the, the Smiths we're in contact with, the, the, the YouTube people that we're getting to know. Now, of course, I'm worried about being taken advantage of. What's to stop someone from, uh, you know, trying to play on my heartstrings? Oh, I just need a pair of tongs. Send me some when they're very well capable of uh, purchasing their own. They've got plenty of money. Like anything in life, I think there will be people trying to game the system, but I'm also thinking about helping people that I've known for quite a while. Uh, Bill has been um, commenting on my posts for a long time uh, on my YouTube videos. So uh, even though I haven't known him, known him, I've known of him. Um, I've seen his posts for months and months and months and months. So I'm just going to have to play it by ear. And, you know, I can't do this every day of the week. I've got to make some money too. But um, I've been blessed with people helping me out, sending me stuff. Heath at Shepherd's Forge sent me a big old box of steel. Um, just out of the kindness of his heart and you know if I can't take the time to make some tongs and send them to somebody who wants to get into this then I'm not worthy of the gift that Heath sent. 
So I'm going to fire up the forge real quick, make some tongs, and get them ready to send out to Bill. There you go, Bill. Um, they may not be the prettiest tongs you will ever own in your forging career, but um, they are certainly functional. Ugly, but functional. Much like myself. Um, just a couple of things about these. Don't be afraid to get these ends hot and resize them to whatever size you need. Um, don't, don't sit there and try and fight them. Resize them with the heat and uh, they'll work great for you. So, there you go, my friend. So, thanks for checking out my uh, initial, my... What, what do they call it? Your first episode, your inaugural episode of Forging It Forward. Uh, and I encourage everybody that has the skills to maybe, you know, maybe you, you can't do tongs yet, but maybe you can do punches for somebody that's trying to get started. Or, you know, invite someone over to smack on the anvil a little bit. Uh, do something to get someone involved, and we'll keep forging it forward um, as we go. So the only caveat, Bill, is uh, someday down the road when you are making tongs of your own and you're doing a really good job at it all right maybe you're doing as good a job as i am so you're doing a mediocre job at it but um you're in a position where you can help somebody else um please do forge it forward if you would my friend and uh, that's the only caveat i will catch you guys on the next video see ya